Worcester City Councilors are looking at all options for possible recreational marijuana shops in the city. In December, Governor Charlie Baker signed a bill to put a delay on the opening of shops, but if cities and towns don't have any ordinances or bylaws in place by April 2018, they can't go back in time and apply them. We also have to inform people what it does and what it's about. For people like Devin Rock, the possibility of recreational marijuana retail shops in Worcester is a good thing. She says it helps with her depression, and if people are educated on it, there shouldn't be an issue. I think we just need to bring like more information about marijuana and what it does for you and like positives instead of negatives and like have like like parents teach their kids. At Tuesday night city council meeting, Councillor Christian King asked for a report about the efforts the city is taking to advocate for local control over retail recreational marijuana options. You know, and particularly given the fact that, you know, there are a number of options and we really need to look into those. He says the Department of Revenue has estimated retail sales from marijuana statewide will be about $64 million in the first year and about $132 million in the second year. In Worcester, voters approved the sale of recreational marijuana 55% to 45%. Let's do, it. Let's do what the voters wanted us to do and, and move this forward. Councillor Michael Gaffney says if marijuana is treated as a controlled substance like alcohol, people will have to follow state guidelines to obtain a license. Keep it level and on the same board so everybody's competing uh, at the same level with one another to obtain it. And that, that'll make it a fair process and a, and a reasonable process as well. One of the things I was advocating for last night was to put it on the table of uses, and that means get it zoned so that recreational marijuana shops, if someone wants to open up, uh, that there will be some control. Meanwhile, surrounding communities like Sutton and Westboro have voted to ban recreational shops from opening. And whether that will stand up to the state law, that's another story. Now, some city councilors are asking for a moratorium to be put in place, but since nothing can be done statewide until 2018, city councilor Christian King says it may be premature.